The third Sino-German SciTech Forum has started. This year's theme is creating a new future of China and Germany in science and technology cooperation. Nearly 300 guests, dignitaries, and officials from both countries have gathered to share insights on the fourth industrial revolution, environmental protection, sustainable development, electric vehicles, and life sciences. Germany is a strong uh, provider of uh, and helper on the way to more automation, and uh, in in the end, uh, will be a big supporter when China is uh, embarking on this uh, way of uh, um, getting more highly automated and digitized. Fifty years ago, the trade volume between the two countries was around 300 million U.S. dollars. Fifty years later, the number has jumped to over 300 billion. Meanwhile, the two countries have established more than 70 cooperation dialogue mechanisms, and set up over 100 friendly provinces and cities. The previous two forums were held in Beijing and Berlin, but there was a reason Quanzhou was chosen this time. Quanzhou, 呢 Quanzhou is the starting point of the Belt and Road Maritime Silk Road. It's also a starting point of China's reform and opening up and going to the world. It is also a microcosm for decades of China's reform and opening up. This place will help Western countries like Germany have a deeper understanding of China. Quanzhou, known as the Alexander of the East, became famous during the Song and Yuan dynasties. It's now taking on a new look with digital empowerment. Built in 1990, the Zhou Mu Group, famous for intelligent bathrooms, is turning out to be an innovative international enterprise. We started to build 5G intelligent manufacturing factory in 2015. By 2020, we used 40% robots and 60% workers to realize intelligent manufacturing, turning from a low-end to high-end manufacturing. Meanwhile, three parallel forums have taken place on the digital economy and intelligent manufacturing, new energy and automobile development, bioscience, and new medicine.